you're getting close oh. up. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, all right, you're all set. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Where's hey, Sammy, I just... hey, there you are. Can you got me now? <laughs> yes, yes, all right. Good to talk to you. Thanks so much for taking the time to chat to me. Of course, of course. So tell me about the show of yours. It sounds incredible. Yeah, uh, Muffy, it's, it's a real kind of special project, and I, I'm very lucky to be a part of it. Nice. And what is your role in it? Okay, so I play Nicholas van der Swart, um, who is a young uh, white male during apartheid in 1981, who is conscripted to the South African army. And through his journey from training to uh, going to the border war, he finds um, a spark with another recruit. And it obviously becomes quite a, a dangerous thing to um, uh, a, a dangerous thing to to come to terms with being for the fact that being gay in 1981 in South Africa was illegal. So that's basically the the narrative of Muffy. And uh, what was your biggest challenge about playing this role? I think for me, the the biggest challenge was kind of letting go of um, my understanding of the world of 2020 and really or 2019 at the time, and really um, submerging myself in 1981 in terms of the way that people spoke and the racial um, overtones and how racist it was during that time. That was probably the most difficult thing for me. And what was your favorite part about playing this role? Um, I think, you know, it's such a, a meaty role and any actor kind of looks for these roles that are uh, complex and layered and it was such a privilege to be able to play him. And what do you hope people like about the show? I hope that the film moves people to um, have a different understanding of a time in South African history that is not really well spoken about. Very good, very good. Yes, and it was a film, not a show. I don't know why. I, I, I was confused. That's my, that's on me. That's on me. Not enough no coffee yet this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, what, uh, what else did you like about? It? Tell me a little bit about working with the people on the film. Yeah, I mean, I, it was such a privilege. Um, we spent a year and a year or a year and a half in the casting process. So it took quite some time to get the cast together. Um, and we had the most wonderful support from Portobello Productions, who is a production company. Um, and the director, Oliver Hermanis, was a dream to work with, really detailed and gave me the space to play as well as kind of the guidance that I needed since this was my first um, uh, film role and it was a lead. So um, I was very privileged to kind of have this as my first film. Wow, that's incredible. And what was your feeling when you got your first role? And not only is it your first, but it's your lead. Tell me about that. I think, you know, um, every actor kind of has that moment of absolute celebration and elation when they get their first role. And then the setting in of absolute dread about how we're going to pull it off. Um, but like I said, I, I was lucky enough to really have the have the support and um, and kind of the faith of the directors, uh, the director and the producers to pull this role off. And did you do any kind of research before you took on the role or as you were preparing? Yeah, so my, my dad had actually gone to the army at a pretty uh, similar time to that of my character. And we hadn't really spoken about it much before. Um, and he became my kind of greatest resource into the time period and the mindset and the physicality and the kind of fear and indoctrination that happened during that time. Oh, I bet he's so proud of you and so happy that you got to share this. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's given me a greater understanding of my father, which has been, I think, one of the most important things about the filming process for me. Nice. And what else are you working on? Um, I've just finished shooting an eight-part series uh, here in South Africa, and I have another film coming up um, in a month or so, and then I'm immigrating to the UK to kind of follow on with some projects that side. Incredible. Thank you so much for taking the time today, and I appreciate you, and good luck with everything. Thank you so much for taking the time. Have a good day further. You too, honey.